and the foundation is actually collapsed here this wall here probably by the weekend this may end up falling this weekend look at the humidity level in this thing right here watch literally pouring rain we're going to take this wall out as well what we're going to do is we're going to actually dig this all down and put a full eight foot basement in this thing Hey everyone, Kevin Jarday. Um, we're have over a house in here in uh, Maryville. We just started working on, it and the foundation is actually collapsed here um, on this part of this part of the basement. So, uh, luckily, nobody was hurt. But we got to it's, it's it's we got to haul all this off and take it out um, to the dumpster. We got to take part of that wall out too. Most of that wall's got to come out, and then we got to, we're going to replace. Um, we're going to take this wall out as well and replace it with some 4x4 posts or 6x6 posts, I should say. Um, this wall here, probably by the weekend, this may end up falling this weekend. The only thing holding it up really, literally it's just one little inch or two is holding this wall up. If it wasn't for this, this would have already fallen. Um, so we're going to end up replacing all this right here. And uh, with, with uh, not only use, if you notice, they only use a 6 inch block on this. Well, and it's hollow. You can't use a six inch hollow block to hold up a foundation. It's just not gonna work. Um, so we're going back with a 12 inch block and fill it with concrete and put rebar in it. And uh, we'll come back up and bend it out to where it goes into the new foundation. Now this part will be tore out as well. And it's only got one little crack in it. However, if you look up here, I'll take the light off, off my camera. You can see it outside. You can see the outside where it sank about, about two, about an inch and a half it sank, but it's also pushed out about two and a half inches out that way. So if you come over here and look at this, they've done some patch jobs over, over the years, but as you can see, the foundation is totally broke away here. They only have an inch and a half, inch and a half concrete for the footer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually dig this all down and put a full eight foot basement in this thing, um, or however, however tall this is, but we're gonna go out about seven and a half, eight foot. And then again, we'll take this wall down as well and uh, put some more blocking in. Um, that's Bobby right there, my, one of my guys. He's a very, very good worker. All my guys are great workers. But they're taking out the installation right now, watching out for snakes as they may fall on their heads. And so uh, that took the installation tour out, then they're gonna put the, do, a mold, do a mold fungus wipe down on that. Now I didn't charge the customer for the, the mold wipe down. I'm doing it because it's a big job and I want my guys and I don't, I don't want to be in here for two weeks breathing this mold. And if I come over here, I'll show you what you see here, how thick the mold is. It's really thick, it's almost like carpet. So, and of course the humidity level, if you look at the humidity level in this thing, right here, watch. Literally pouring rain in this in this crawl space. Uh, we can squeeze it out of the insulation. So all this has to really has to go in order to, in, in order to fix this job. Um, I gave it did about a month and a half ago, and in that month and a half, the, the actual foundation walls were, were replaced and it's actually moved about, that wall itself moved about an uh, inch and a half and the outside wall here is moved by another half inch to three quarters of an inch um, in that month and a half, which tells you pretty severe, uh, pretty severe foundation issue. So uh, if they would have went another few months on this house, it may not even be here. It may have just fallen in. Uh, so we're going to end, that's what we're going to do on this job. Right now, like I say, right now our first stage is to get it all cleaned out, cleaned up so we can see what we have. If you come over here, what they, what they did on this house originally, <clears throat> this is where the house stopped. All right, so this 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 uh, beam is not even a beam. It's only a one by or two by uh, two by eight. All right, this should have been triple when they when they added. So what ended up happening is, as you see, this this post here is holding us up. It's actually falling through, and that one's actually went all the way through, right there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cut these floor joists off, an inch and a half, right here. We'll take these floor joists off, cut these an inch and a half. What, what, we'll stick another another two by eight up here, and then doing on the other, same thing on the other side. We'll put two temporary walls up to hold the floors up, so they don't they don't fall on our heads while we're working on it. Um, this crack here, we're gonna put some carbon carbon straps across here to help hold this wall together. We're gonna take this top block off, take this block out, put the post and pour concrete back up here, and do the post like it's supposed to be done in the first place. So if this is helpful to you. Uh, I appreciate if you would. Uh, tag us friends or anybody you know that needs uh, has foundation issues and needs help uh, we do anything with with the house that has anything to do with the, from the floor system down no matter what the issue is we can fix it so uh kevin jarday with it's dry you can get us at and i uh, appreciate it have a good day